Hi kids! It's good to see you again. Today we are going to be looking at the letter U and drawing Uncle Ugby. Uncle and Ugby start with the letter U. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm getting my name on the paper so that I'm ready to draw. This is Uncle Ugby. Uncle Ugby is a little bit older. If you look, we have some wrinkles on the forehead. And he looks like he's bald. And so we're going to go ahead and draw this. And it also looks like he's at the beach. So the first thing we're going to draw, this is, this is kind of a, a difficult um, drawing to do. Um, so I think the first thing that we are going to do is uh, the umbrella, which is unusual. But we're going to go ahead and draw the umbrella. So easiest part on the umbrella first would just be to draw this big hump. So take your pencil. And we're going to start over here on the left side of your paper. And we're just going to draw kind of that hump. And if you look, it's kind of uh, tilted a little bit. Uh, next thing we're going to do, after you have that hump, um, we're doing this with a pencil, remember. One, two, three. We're going to make a scalloped line. And then the next thing we're going to do is put a little circle at the top. Then to make these sections of the umbrella, where the point is right here, we're just going to connect that up to that circle. And then here, we're going to connect that up to that circle. And then look at we've got our umbrella done. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and draw Uncle Ugby then. So somewhere right in here in this second section, let's go ahead and draw his head. We're going to just draw his head. Okay, now if you look, some of the head is under the umbrella. That's why we're just drawing part of it. And Uncle Ugby is looking off to the side here. So we're going to put the nose off to the side here. Okay, there's the nose. And we're just going to draw some eyes. His eyes are closed. So we're just going to draw two lines for eyes closed. Okay. And then for the mouth, his mouth is, it looks like it's drawn not quite straight. It's just kind of jagged. And we kind of draw part of it because we don't see the other side. It's on the other side of his face. Could probably do that. There we go. Let's draw some hair. Because he's bald, he only has like a strip of hair that goes around his his um, head. And you know, they don't have an ear, and so I'm not going to draw an ear, but I guess if you want to, you probably can draw an ear. Um, anyways, all right, so now we've got our face. So let's go ahead and draw our body. Okay. So the body comes, oh, hold on, I'm doing it too far over, I need to do it more here. Let's draw the body coming down like this, and that's his body and his shorts, and then let's pull this over like that, and that'll be his shorts and his body. And then we're going to draw, right on top of this line, we're going to draw his arms. So we're going to start with the shoulder. Draw. So we make a little hump for the shoulder, and then we're going to draw this part of his hand. So bring this down, and then draw this part. And then they just have a little hump at the end for his hand. Remember to stop the video if you need to. 
to catch up. Take your eraser and erase this line. Oh, I made his elbow kind of sharp. I'm going to soften his elbow a little bit. And right here under his chin is his the collar or the opening for his um, shirt and then his shorts so because his shorts have a split in them we're going to make the letter T okay off to the right a little bit because again he's standing to the side okay and then we're going to draw his legs one here and one here, so three lines. And then a foot. And because this foot is back a little bit farther, we just draw it up a little bit higher. See how it's just a little bit higher than this foot? There we go. There's one thing we're missing. Does anybody see it? it has something to do with the umbrella. Yep, we do not have the umbrella stem. So let's draw. I'm just going to do two lines. And then, you know, umbrellas, some umbrellas have this J shape or this hook at the end. And there we go. And there is Uncle Ugby. Okay, we need some crayons. Let's do blue, red, and yellow. Does anybody remember what kind of colors these are? Blue, red, and yellow? These are the primary colors. Good. So that's what we need. And then we need some kind of skin color. You can use a brown for a skin color or you can use like a peach for a skin color. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use peach. All right, and before we color it, outline it, I'm going to go ahead and use the peach. Let's go ahead and color all of his skin. Peach or brown, or if you have a tan. Oops, do you see it's smearing my pencil a little bit? That's why we don't outline it in black right away, so it doesn't smear. Remember, this this part, we want to stay inside the lines and do a good job of coloring because this is a certain type of um, art where it matters if you draw inside the lines or color inside the lines. Right here. There, I think I've got all the skin done. You finish up your skin, and if you need to, pause the video so you can catch up. And then we're going to do a blue section. Remember, the more you, harder you press with your crayons, the darker it will look. The lighter you press, it'll look lighter. Yellow. And finally, red. Primary colors. These three colors can make an unbelievable amount of other colors just by mixing them together. Especially with paint or Play-Doh when you mix these three, um, mix two at a time, because if you mix all three you're going to get brown. Okay. Oh, you know what? We forgot to put polka dots on Uncle Ugby's shorts. Not sure if they're shorts or if they're underwear. 
It could be boxer underwear or if there, it's a swimsuit. It might be a swimsuit too. All right, guys, that's it. It was easy coloring today. Does anybody know the last thing we're going to do? Anybody? Outline with our black crayon. You got it. So we're just going to outline with our black crayon. This is good practice for your hand and for your eyes to f track your hand as you draw. This really is good for you guys. I love tracing. It's just relaxing. Tracing or outlining. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot his forehead wrinkles. I'm just going to add them here. If you forgot Uncle Ugby's forehead wrinkles, you can go ahead and put those in too. There we go, guys. Uncle Ugby for the letter U. Hope you had fun today. Bye.